Hey everyone, so today I'm just gonna show you quickly how to replace the starter cord on your push mower. You can see here with mine, mine's actually gotten pretty chewed up here, so it's really not safe to continue to use this. So I'm just gonna swap it out with this new one I purchased that's a little bit more robust. Okay, the first thing we need to do is take off this entire starter assembly here at the top that the starter cord mounts into. For that, you just need a simple socket wrench. And then just be careful as you're getting near the end of that, it is all spring loaded. So you're gonna to wanna to hold your hand on it so it doesn't go flying back towards the tension on the starter cable. Okay, so you can take that off. As you can see, it would pull automatically. Before you take out the existing rope that's in here, you need to completely unwind that assembly in the middle. And careful as you're doing that because it's gonna to wanna to naturally tighten back up. So just keep one hand on it as you're unloosening it. Okay, and then you'll go until the rope is lined up with the hole where the rope on the inside comes through on both sides of it. And then we'll just go ahead and cut this piece off. But you're going to want to make sure you hold this in place. So in order to do that, I just got a little screwdriver here. I'm just going to poke in to one of those holes just to lock that in place while I'm going to cut it. And then so that I can go ahead and insert the new rope as well. Okay, so I'll go ahead and cut out the existing starter cord that's uh, now faulty. Okay, and that'll just pull out easily. Um, getting rid of that. I'm just going to get rid of this nasty mess I've got going on up here. So this is the old one. I'm just going to try to cut that off. I'm not going to reuse the existing handle because it's actually kind of busted up too. You can see there. So I'm just going to unwind this guy. Maybe cut it a little bit to get it out of there. Okay, now we can start working on putting that new one in. Okay, we'll get to work on installing the new one now. Okay, so pretty simple. Just have the handle there, and then we've also got the new cord. Okay, so now again, we need to make sure we're lining up the hole on the outside where the starter cord goes through with the hole on the inside where it's ultimately gonna need to tie off and line up. So I'm gonna start to try to fish that through. And it is a little bit tough to try to fish it through the outside and then also get it to come through perfectly in that little hole right there. So I'm actually just gonna start from the inside and then I'll just pull it all the way through. It'd be much easier to do. Okay. Got that through there. Oh, my screwdriver. Okay, plug that through. Then you can see now I can just pull it all the way through. Just make sure there's no knots as you're pulling. Okay, now we just need to go ahead and tie a knot on this side so it doesn't slip right back through that hole. and then pull that as tight as you can. If you want to be extra safe, you could put just a drop of super glue there as well to make sure it's never going to unthread. Then pull that through as far as you can. 
And then just make sure to tuck any of the excess down into there as well. A screwdriver to help me out doing that. Okay. I'm going to take out the screwdriver. I'm going to use the cord to slowly let it feed through as it's automatically going to want to wind itself back up. Okay. So you can see as I'm letting that go, it's automatically feeding that through and, and tightening it back up. So I'm gonna let that do it until I have about two feet left to work with here on the end. Okay, that's about good. Then I'll stick screwdriver back in there just to stop it from rotating. And now I can get to work on feeding it through the handle and then we'll tie the knot there as well. Okay, so to get it through the top of this cap, there is this handle, sorry, there is a little cap right here. So just get a little screwdriver or a screw or a nail or something, poke it under there just to get that little piece off. Now we'll feed the rope through there, tie the knot, and then we'll push it back in here, put the cap back on. Okay, again, tie that knot, tie it fairly close to the end so you don't have too much excess, but when you do pull it through, make sure to pull it as tight as you can. You don't want that coming undone. And also to be safe, you could put a drop of glue there just to make sure that's never going to unravel on you. Okay, when you feel good about it, pull that back in and then just try to tuck the excess back into that hole. And then you got your little cap, pop that back on. Okay. Okay, now this little loop right here is where the cord will sit. I just need to loosen that up so I can feed the cord through it. Okay. Slide that in there. All right, and then tighten that back up. Now we just gotta remount the starter assembly here. But again, this is gonna wanna pull, but at least the handle is caught up on that loop, so it's not gonna completely uh, go flying on me unless I let go of it. But just stick it on these three pegs here. Make sure you have the logo facing the correct direction. Slot it over those posts. And then we'll use our socket wrench to retighten these nuts back on there. So I get each of those started. Okay, tighten those guys back up. All right, then you're all good to go. All right, that wasn't too bad. Thank you for watching. If you got value from this video, I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. If you wanna be notified of future videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button. But thank you again for watching. We'll see you here on the next one.